All right, over the next few minutes, I'd like to show you our Vault add-in for Pro Engineer. As you can see, you can create a toolbar that can be conveniently accessed inside of Pro Engineer. Or we also have all of our Vault commands available inside of the File menu right here inside of your Pro Engineer session as well. So let's go ahead and let's log in. And I'd like to point out that we do have Active Directory support or you can go in and create your own unique username and passwords for each user. And you can see it's very quick and easy to log into the vault. And now we're ready to go. But before I check this in, I want to go over a couple of intricacies about this model. So first of all, let's go ahead and look at its parameters. What I want to do is I want to add one that we're going to call our ProE property. And uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make this a stream. We'll give it a certain value. And what I want to do here is to show you how this can quickly and easily synchronize with our properties inside of the vault. Now, I also wanted to open up this lens real quick just to show you that this is a family table part. So in addition to the generic, we also have a small, a large, and an extra large version. So now that we've taken a look at this, let's go ahead and use our toolbar to go ahead and check in our file. Now you'll notice that as this check in dialog box comes in, it lists all of the various files that need to be checked in. Notice that we can also go in here and put in our comments. Also, we have a button up here that lets us update all factory files. What that basically does is it finds all of your family table components and it checks in not only the generic, but all of the instances as well. I'd also like to add that we do have support for nested family tables. And just like that, we're now starting the check-in process where it's going to go through and check in uh, all of those files, including all of the instances that I spoke about earlier. And it's going to also create a lightweight viewable so that inside of Vault, anybody inside of your organization, whether they're in sales, purchasing, marketing, any other division, they can quickly go in and see the files without requiring a copy of Pro Engineer on their computer. Now, just like that, you can see that we have completed the check-in process. So if we come over to Vault, then we'll take a look at all of these files. And I first want to point out that Vault was really made to look a lot like Outlook. So over here we have access to all of our different folders. Uh, notice that if I click on a folder it will show me all of the contents that are inside of it. Notice that uh, right here with the list of all my files I can click on any of these files and immediately at the bottom I get a preview. Now this preview is that lightweight file that I was telling you about that is being created upon check-in. And again, this allows anyone inside the organization to quickly see what it looks like. Now notice that we also have the ability to go in and to look at all of the other files that are referenced inside of the assembly that I'm looking at. In addition to that, any of my family table components have this special glyph next to it, which makes it very easy to identify them. And if I click on any of these, it will show me what the parent generic part is in this case, our lens underscore millimeter dot PRT file. Now, if I go to my lens millimeter PRT file, I can also get a list of what all of my instances are that pertain to that generic as well. So we have very rich and powerful family table support built right into Vault. Now, I also want to point out that if we go back up to our assembly, over on the right here, I have a list of all of my properties and if we go down here, notice that this ProE property that we created, it successfully synchronized. So now if I make any changes to that property, as soon as I check it in, it's always going to be up to date right inside of Vault. So now let's go ahead and suppose that we want to make a change to our cell phone assembly that we have. Let's suppose the changes we want to make is we want to make our antenna longer and instead of having it flush against the top of our phone here, we actually want to also have our design with an antenna extended. So to do that, I can quickly click on my parts that I need to go ahead and change. 
we can go ahead and say we want to kick up the primary revision and now we're working on a revision B so that we're keeping a history of the evolution of our assembly. So now let's go back to Pro Engineer and let's see how we can open up our files directly from the vault. Now notice that our open dialog directly from the vault will show us the revision, the state, any other type of information that we want it to show. And right from here, I can open and check it out, or I can just open it to view the file and decide to check it out later. Now before we make the changes, I want to point out that we have this nice browser right inside of ProEngineer that lets us compare what we have open to what's inside of the vault. So I can come in here and maybe we want to add some columns where we can show the life cycle state, maybe we want to show the revision, uh, maybe we want to come in and we actually want to check out our files. All of this can be done right inside of our browser inside of Pro Engineer. So I'm going to go ahead and check out the two files that we're going to be working with. And then before we close this, I also want to show that we do have the ability to look at all of the different details, the history, right from inside of Pro Engineer. And we can also go in and if a file is checked out, you need to know who has it checked out. You can always get that information right here on our summary page. So you can see Dave Designer, which is who we're logged in as right now. Uh, we have it checked out, so we have the ability to go in to modify it and make changes. So let's go ahead now and make the changes that we talked about earlier. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to come in here and we're going to offset our antenna from the top instead of having it flush. Then we'll also go in here and we'll modify our antenna as well. So let's go ahead and just quickly make that 85 instead of 75 long. We'll go ahead and we'll update it. And now we can go ahead and we can check in our top level assembly. And notice that Vault automatically knows which files need to be checked in. We can add some specific notes. And once we're done with all of our changes, we can go ahead and update and recheck in all of those updates back to the Vault. And once we've created our new lightweight files, then we can go back into our Vault application and we can take a look at the changes. So now that we're back inside of our Vault here, notice that uh, we can come in here and we can see that our cell phone has been updated. As I mentioned, we do have the ability to go in and we can look at previous iterations as well. And what this does is this really gives us a nice side-by-side -side review of what has been changed. So notice here we can go back to revision A in our top view here. And side-by-side -side we can see the two different iterations of the phone. And uh, we can see that we're comparing revision A with revision B. So again, some great, powerful capabilities. If you'd like to know more detailed information about our Pro-E add-in for Vault, please see your local reseller or Autodesk sales representative and would be more than happy to give you a demonstration and to go more into detail.